Once you receive completed quizzes from learners, you can grade submissions, view quiz statistics such as grade distribution, grade average, question statistics, and user statistics on the statistics page. On the Manage Quizzes page, click Grade from the context menu of the quiz you want to grade. If the quiz was an objective quiz, it will be graded automatically and you can see the scores as well as the checkbox indicating that the grades have been released to the students. The default view is to show you only the users who have completed an attempt, but you can change this by selecting the drop-down menu and choosing all users if you wish. The display options allow for you to select a variety of different options. ID, quiz score, and percent displays the appropriate values beside each user's name. Completed displays date and time of quiz completion. And Allow Reset allows you to reset a user's grades. If you selected this checkbox, a delete icon appears beside each attempt. The Attempts tab will focus the results down based on attempts made to the quiz. The Restrict To drop down menu will isolate the types of attempts to preview on this page. By clicking the Attempt link next to a student's name, you will see their individual results. This screen gives you the overall details around the attempt the student made, including such details as the amount of time it took for the student to complete the attempt, the score that was auto-graded, and it shows you the answers the student chose on each question and whether they were right or wrong. The arrow indicates the correct response, and the X indicates the wrong response, which can be seen beside the incorrect response the student made. You can also choose to manually change the auto grade score, then click Save. The Questions tab allows you to view quiz responses by question. Grade individual responses enables you to grade a quiz one question at a time. This means you can grade and leave feedback for all responses to each question before moving on to the next question. Blind marking, when selected, sets it so that student information does not appear alongside responses and responses display in a shuffled order. This aids in preventing unintentional bias during marking. View graded responses when selected. Previously graded responses appear as part of the response queue. Update all attempts enables you to view question statistics, make grading changes, and leave feedback for all responses to the selected question. Note, any changes made to the grading of a quiz question are recorded in the modifications log. The log documents the date, time, username, and action taken for each change to quiz grading. The statistics view provides you with a wealth of information around learners' progress for a quiz. In this view, you can see a list of quizzes for the course. The average grade for each quiz is displayed beside the quiz name. You also have an option to export to CSV file if you want to save the quiz's statistics to your computer. Note, the system will export the statistics from the tab you are currently viewing, for example, User Stats. The User Stats tab provides you with both class statistics, including class average, and user statistics. On the Question Stats tab, you can see how students performed on individual questions. If all of the students did poorly on a particular question, this may trigger you to look at the question wording and perhaps rephrase those questions or examine how well the course material was covered. On the Question Details tab, you can see even more information about the answers given for each question. This view is very helpful in evaluating the results in case you would like to schedule an exam review with your students. View and export quiz statistics and reports to a CSV file for data analysis. The CSV file contains all pertinent information on the quiz so that you can query, sort, 
and evaluate the data without being connected to the learning management system.